Folks, we are going to introduce our second place guilds out of uh, each of their respective classes, so you folks uh, have an opportunity to evaluate them uh, again for the sale tomorrow, and so Mark can take another look here again of the tremendous quality that we've had here in Springfield, Illinois. So we're going to bring out each of our second place guilds out of their respective classes. We have the second place guild out of class one, hey, Greg. Cade Penley, Surreal, Oklahoma. 218-5, Sarah, but TYK5, Dark Knight, 16-1. We have the second place guild out of class two. Entry number 123-6, Bryce Conover of Baxter, Iowa. RSTJ6 Creature, 7-7 seven, seven is the sire. Our class three second place entry is from Knight Genetics at Armstrong, Illinois, 148-5, sired by HH5 Two-Tone, 215-3. Second place skilled out of class four, entry number 188-5, Braylon Schaefer of Hagerstown, Indiana, Sired by NNMS6 Wolfpack, 6-3. Second place skilled out of class 5, 116-5, Brandy Brown, Hickory Creek, Texas. Sired by HH5 Two-Tone, 215-3. Two and the second place skilled out of class 6, 140-5, Blake Holland of Denton, Texas, sired by HH5 Blackout, 135-1. Again, those are all of your second place skills out of the respective classes that have been paraded in front of you and our judge, Mark Hogue. Let's give those exhibitors a nice hand as they put them back into their pens. Here in our drive for champion, we have the winners out of each of our respective classes. We have the winner out of class one, Leah Anderson of Mount Pulaski, Illinois, 103-5 is a paint number. Sorry, but WTX6, keep talking, 48-2 for the 21st day of January. She's got a 1.57 weight per day of age, a .76 back fat, with a 7-1 loin eye. Anderson Gilt, the winner out of class one. Our class two winner, entry number 123-7, Bryce Conover, Baxter, Iowa, sired by RSTJ6 Creature, 7-7, fair the 20th day of January, 1.71 weight per day of age, 0.73 back fat with a 6.6 a loin eye. Conover, the winner of class two. Our class three winner, entry number 119-5, Bristol Brunton of Victor, Iowa, sired by NNMS6 a Wolfpack, 6-3, fair of the ninth day of January. 1.60 weight per day of age, a .59 back fat with an 8-1 loin eye. Brunton, the winner of class three. Our class four winner from Plainfield, Iowa, 161-5, Allison Maiman, sired by THF6 Real Life, 16-2, farrowed on January the 1st, 1.50 weight per day of age, 0.65 back fat with a 7-8 loin eye. Maimon, the winner of class four. Your class five winner, 139-5, Hadley and Hogan Hendrickson of Farmland, Indiana. Sorry, by RKMD5 GRUS Triple Threat. Farrowed on the 12th day of December. 1.47 weight per day of age, 0.72 back fat with a 7.4 loin eye. Hendrickson, the winner of class five. 
And our class six winner, Coy and Lindsey Walker. Frankfurt, Indiana, 206-5. Sire, but WTX5, whatever it takes for the fifth day of December. 1.44 weight per day of age, 0.71 back fat with a 7.9 loin eye. Walker, the winner of class six. We're coming back over here live to you here in Springfield, Illinois with our champion Berkshire Guilt Drive. Had a couple of presentations to get through and scholarships and uh, whatnot. Great foundation female. Great okay. foundation female that will sell us lot one in the Berkshire Guilt sale tomorrow. Graciously donated by the Albright crew, Coldwater, Michigan. We've got our six class winners out here. And they don't suck. <coughs> six good girls out there. Yes. Top to bottom, all six of them are fundamental and stout. They do a great job representing one of the better Berkshire Guilt shows I've seen here recently. get out here and get uh, get into these six. I mean, there's lots of variation on on uh, on build, but still still a deep set. Obviously, they're getting presentation is different amongst them. Right. Showmanship too. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we all know who we're talking about. Yes. 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 They're different, you know, a little bit, like you said, in type and kind, but yet every one of them still complete, don't have that glaring hole. and They ain't messed up. No. And the show as a whole was just really deep. There's going to be a lot of really solid Berkshire females available tomorrow. Yes. Yep. The guy could probably sleep in and just show up halfway through the sale and still be fine. Yeah. The younger of the Hogs is still getting all his looks. Checking them all out. He's done a tremendous job sorting through a really, yes, really good set of Yes, certainly been above pigs. average job. As we come to the close of our Berkshire show, uh, uh, so much uh, energy, so much emotion, uh, coupled with a lot of nerves, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, you're getting ready this morning, trying to, trying to visualize, uh, you know, what, uh, what, what I wanted a Berkshire to look like today, what I want them to look like next year, uh, what I would talk to our nine-year-old son, Nolan, about uh, at, at home or even at a show, you know, which one you like, which one you think we need to do, uh, which one we need to get in on. And it's interesting, it was probably five years ago, we were sitting, Dad and I were sitting in the stands watching the Berkshire show and sale, and I said, you know what's interesting, uh, prior to our children uh, being engaged in the Team Purebred activities, the NJSA activities, I probably wouldn't have been watching a Berkshire show. I am not a uh, seventh generation Berkshire breeder. Uh, I'm a fan of good livestock and uh, Nolan hooked in hard on the Berkshires early after dad bought him a, a, a gilt in, uh, in Texas. We got her home, showed her, uh, and I tell you we were getting ready for the Team Purebred event and all Nolan was worried about at home is, do you think his Berkshire gilt's good enough to get a piece of the bread and owned uh, uh, division. He, he prides himself <clears throat> in the bread and owned female divisions at the national shows. I said, buddy, I, I don't know, but we, we're going to do the best we can. So I, I get out here, and I, to be honest with you, there was two barometers, uh, I, I guess, other than my family and my background that I utilized. I thought Robbie Phillips did an outstanding job of sorting through a tremendous uh, set of Berkshire females in the junior show. <clears throat> and then when the Albright family uh, presented their foundation guilt, I really want you folks to realize, first of all, this comes from a guilt hoarder standpoint. It's hard to let go of something that looks like the Albright guilt as a foundation female. 
as I went through the Berkshire Guilt Show today, I used her as a model of what I wanted to build our females like for your show because I think she represents so much right in terms of color pattern, in terms of design, in terms of look and female characteristics in the Berkshires. I really compliment the Albright family. I think that's a great case of uh, good people with good hogs and I really really sincerely thank their support of the Junior Association in order uh, to do that. We get through our guilt classes today and <clears throat> briefly over here dad's like man you really fired up on the boars. I said well the guilts were good. The guilts were incredible. I just wanted to make sure that not being a, a generational Berkshire breeder I wanted to make sure and represent the breed. What do the die-hard Berkshire breeders that have raised them their entire life what do they want them to look like? What's the future for the particular breed? And I tried to do that today, but when the dust settles, I'm going to use a pair of gilts that I personally like, that I'd like to have at home, that I would like to go ahead and breed on from that standpoint. I won't talk about them individually anymore. I'm going to take one more look. I would ask that you put your hands together. We have six outstanding females represented by great firms here. My personal com uh, congratulations to the Berkshire breeders. Final comments from Mr. Hogue. Looks like he's fixing to go out here and slap your grand champion Berkshire Gill. That would be super cool if he'd do it. And he just shook their hand. 119.5. Crystal Brunton of Victor, Iowa. The Wolfpack Gilt is your champion. She is the winner of class three. We now need that night genetics entry into the ring. 148-5, Armstrong, Illinois. Sire by HH5, two-tone, feraled on January the 10th, 1.61, 0.66 with a 7.5 loin eye. Night's entry comes in and certainly, certainly keeps everything on, e on an even playing field. It's a good, good guilt that comes second out of that class. Canal, class one winner will be your reserve champion. 103.5.